Walmart parking lot or something like that mm -hmm. and wanted to eat lunch or something and you needed to rinse whatever, then you've got enough water in there to do that. But as far as camping and using that water, mm -hmm. the only thing I will say that when you get when you get to where you're going, drain it. Because what happens is that water does get over time gets stagnant. They sell some chemical up front you can put in there with your fresh water and it'll freshen it and mm -hmm. keep it from getting stagnant so quick. Mm -hmm. But I wouldn't want to drink it after yeah. it's setting that tank for six months. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I would just soon <laughs> drain it out and put some fresh in there. Mm -hmm. To the left of that is a water heater switch. That is water heater for LP gas. The, you turn it on there if you needed hot water and if you did not have access to electricity. That's kind of a moot point with yours because you've always got access to electricity. All you do is hit the generator button and boom, you got electricity. Mm -hmm. So the, there's a water heater switch in the unit itself, the water heater, and I'll show you that when we go out there. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on because unless you drain that water heater, that switch can stay on. That way, as soon as you plug in or as soon as you crank the generator, it starts heating water. If you're gonna be using a lot, for example, showers one after the other, you can turn this on with the electric side and what it does is it just gives you recovery quicker. Mm. You'll have hot water faster. Mm -hmm. But it won't hurt anything. No, ma'am. It's fine to use both heat sources. Okay. Uh, if you're anything like my bride, mm -hmm. she uh, well, look takes at it. on three, three <laughs> girls she, in a row in the shower. <laughs> she, she takes very long, luxurious showers. We can't even go to a state park because they don't have sewer connections. And she's like, "Great water's full." <laughs> I'm sorry, I guess you're going to the bathhouse now. <laughs> But other than that, you can just leave that off and your electrical, your electric side will heat your water. Below that, that, if it had a battery disconnect switch, it would be right there. It's in a blank. I'll show you where to turn it off outside. Now, how come it didn't have one? Uh, because they put a, I'll, I'll show you okay. the one they put they outside. Put one outside. Uh, some of the some of the larger units, they just put an electric battery disconnect switch, but you're better off with what they got out there because those seem to fail quite often. Okay. Generator start and stop. If you're doing it from in here, you, you can also start it from out there, but if you're doing it from in here, you're gonna wanna hold the stop side, the bottom side of the button, you'll see the light come on. What that is is fuel pump prime. So you hold that for like 10 seconds, turn loose of it, get the top side, and you'll hear the generator run. Wow. I'm going to turn That's it off pretty, cool. pretty quick now because what it'll do is it's got a transfer switch up there and it'll actually take the power, it'll, it'll switch it from shore power to the generator and it'll do that seamlessly. But when you shut it off, then it, all the power goes away until it gets a chance and then your, your air conditioners are going to try to start up on full load. and our sorry power we've got on this side. <laughs> We'd be tripping breakers and making everybody <laughs> mad. <so. laughs> the hour meter is here. On the generator, when I turn this on, when the light comes on, you can actually look down there. Oh yeah, and, 0, 0.0. Right, and it's got very, very little hours on it right now. And the fuel is, is that for the generator? That's actually your fuel station. Oh. This has a fuel pump.